Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Nihal and in today's video, I'll be sharing how you can finish the entire physics syllabus in 25 days. I know it sounds crazy but trust me, if you follow this video till the end, point by point, you will be able to do it easily. I'll share all tips and tricks that helped me score such good marks like 95 plus and trust me, it's gonna be a life changer for you. So most students face a lot of problems with numericals and I would say it is a bit difficult, a little more difficult than theory but the first step is to complete the theory because you will not be able to do the numericals if you don't know the theory. So take your textbook, read it nicely, watch a one shot video. I shared in this video which YouTube channels are best for one shots. Also discuss with your friends and classmates what YouTube channels they prefer. So you can check out every channel and see what works for you. Use them, watch it, learn the theory, understand every single concept and then come to the numericals portion. So for the numericals, I would say take your textbook, see the example questions at the back, try to read it. Just read it once. If you don't understand, take a pen, take your copy and just write it down very nicely. Like how you would write in the exam itself, it is just like a practice. You can take the textbook and copy. I definitely would allow that because trust me, I know it might seem like you're not learning anything but you actually are learning a lot of things. Just see and write it down once, it'll help you a lot. And after that, I would tell you, go to the exercise questions, try to solve it on your own. Like you could use your textbook, like I used Concise Selena book for physics for class 10 and for 12 I had NCRT. So whichever book you prefer, you can go with that. Whichever book your school is giving you, try to use that, stick to that. Other than that, I would tell you, you could get any reference books as well. Like I personally used together with quite a lot. You can also go through my notes that I shared in this video right here, my complete class 10 physics notes. You can see how I made it. It's not very beautiful and aesthetic like with highlighters and you know different color pens but it is very basic, very neat, very nicely done. So it could help you just check that if you've noted every single point from there and if your notes have covered every single thing definitely refer to that and also join my telegram group where you will find prelim papers and you know pre-board papers of different schools all sample papers all different books like every single pdf for every subject is available over 6000 students are taking advantage of my telegram group and over 11000 students on youtube so trust me it really helps and you should join the community join and share your experience you can discuss with students you know, how their preparation is going learn from them teach them something you know all tips and tricks it really helps so definitely do that i also recently created a discussion group for students so that you can discuss question answers you know help each other out I would also recommend using reference books which have the question answer format like trust me it really helps it really helped me like learning the answers to every question will ensure that even in the question paper when you get a question you will be able to think you know critical thinking skills is very very important if you've already done the question at home and you see the same question in the exam you will easily be able to write fast and you will save a lot of time it changes your entire game a lot sample papers or tenure papers i would say tenure papers is definitely recommended don't do five years do ten years it will help you so how to do tenure papers i shared in this video in detail but i'll still give you a little bit of pointers so for tenure papers i would tell you take your textbook get any book any random book you do not need to buy a specific publication as i always say any random local book is also fine, tenure papers is not going to change. So you take it, see the answer, just write it down. If you're not being able to answer yourself, just open the answer and write it down. Learn and write. Don't just blindly copy like you're not understanding, you're listening to music, watching TV and just writing it down. Don't do that. Just take your textbook, try to read the line, understand what it's saying like mm -hmm. Hmm, this is what it means and try to learn it. Like close the book, say it once, then open it, just check if you're right, then close it again and then write it down. This is the way you should study and it helped me. Should you do sample papers or prefer pre-board papers of different schools? I would say pre-board papers really help but not as much as 10 years. So do 10 years first, 
then you can choose between sample or prelim papers but i would tell you tenor papers should be done at least twice at least two times for some subjects even more times for some subjects even less it depends on you which subject is strong which subject is weak like that you can decide for yourself but definitely at least do every single subjects tenors papers at least once some additional tips and tricks for physics would be that learn the back points it is very important learn units and dimensions it is very important to know all the units how to convert units like from meter to picometer nanometer all of those things when you read the question for the first time the first thing that you should think of what are they answering what data is given be careful when you're writing the data down because many students make a lot of mistakes there it's so easy to make silly mistakes in maths and physics but it is very avoidable if you pay attention if you're focused if you're concentrated you will avoid those mistakes and that is where most students lose marks like very nicely you're studying but you're still not scoring good marks take your half yearly papers your unit test papers analyze what mistakes you've made what you can do to improve also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more icsc related videos join the pre pre board exams that i am conducting this year before your pre boards it's basically an exam that will help you prepare better many students are excited for it last year about 100 to 100 students had joined and they submitted their papers i still have all the data if you want to join do subscribe and like this video comment down below that you are doing this 25 day challenge so i know that you are ready for it and you want to score 90 5 plus very badly like you did in the last video of maths 14 day strategy for maths you will be ahead of all your peers and everyone will be you know talking about how are you doing this practice is the main thing that will help you and you just can't be lazy about it you will have to do it you know i'll see you in the next video i'm posting every tuesday thursday saturdays and sundays and you might have seen that the quality is a lot better it's because i got my camera back and i'm so happy this is the second time i'm filming this video it's because i got a mic and i recorded thoda bhi audio nahi aaya like actually so sad but theek hai koi nahi chalo and the reason why i didn't post for so many days is because i was going through a lot i was really sad i'm not even gonna lie basically in short kya hua ki i lost my data a lot of my data and usme se kuch kuch very very precious to me like very important memories and abhi bhi we're trying to figure it out one of my really close 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 friends is going to school thoda kuch kuch chal raha hai so like that is the reason why i didn't post for so long i was just not in the right state of mind to you know film a video okay so i'm currently editing this video and good news i just got my data back like aaj subah maine ye video film kar raha i'm just i'm just very happy sab kuch ho gaya thank you so much everyone bye bye hmm?